Yoshi no Tamago, or Yoshi's Eggs, is a game I despise. We're deep into the era of everyone trying to copy Tetris, and of all the low-effort Tetris copies out there, Yoshi no Tamago might be the lowest. It doesn't help that it's the puzzle game that Nintendo owns outright, rather than having licensed it from someone else, and so they've kept re-releasing it. It marks the second and final game developed by Game Freak, who will bounce around the industry a bit after this until they hit it big with Pokemon. The way that Yoshino Tamago plays is very simple, but not simple in that way where it unfolds into a ton of options. You have a well that is four across and eight tall. From the top of that well, two Mario enemies will fall at a time. They're each in a separate column, and on very rare occasions you might see three at a time. There are only four varieties of enemies, and your goal is to get rid of them by having a matching one land on top of it. You control Mario at the bottom, and hitting the A or B button makes him swap the two columns that he's holding. If one of those columns happens to be tall and the falling piece is beside it, then the falling piece gets swapped along with the column. If your column extends to the very top and a piece lands on it, then it's game over. Unless, of course, that piece matches, in which case both are erased, and you keep going. The other things that could fall are half of eggshells. For the eggshells, you want to make a complete egg. Bottom half, and then top half above it. But, you can have as many other things in between as you like. And naturally, the more things you have between top and bottom, the more points you get. If a top half lands on a column that doesn't have a bottom half below it, then it just goes away. But you can have more than one bottom half in a column, in which case capping it off with an egg top only gets the closest bottom half. You can make eggs with nothing in between them as well. There are two game modes in Yoshi no Tamago. Type A just has you play forever. Keep spinning those columns for as long as you can, which honestly, unless you're trying to get big scores with huge eggs, you can play for an absurdly long time. Type B adds in rows of enemies, and your goal is to completely clear the well. Every stage adds an additional row until you're at the top. There was never any official follow-up to Yoshi no Tamago, just a Game Boy port. However, a few years after this, Game Freak created another puzzle game called Nonton to Isho, which is extremely similar to this. So if for some bizarre reason you happen to like Yoshi no Tamago, there is a spiritual sequel out there for you. Yoshi no Tamago does not have a great reputation in Japan. The best comment I could find about it was that it was easy to play. The real problem here is that the game is incredibly shallow. With such a small variety of enemies dropping down, you almost have to intentionally try to lose to stop your game. The only thing that will cause any kind of long-term buildup is bad luck, or intentionally trying to stack eggs. Even at high speeds, it's really easy to manage. And without any way to build score other than the eggs, there's not a whole lot to shoot for here. The strategies are so simplistic and dull and dependent upon luck that this is just no fun at all. This is pretty much the bottom of the barrel when it comes to falling pieces puzzle games. <laughs>